Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Michael Burhan from NerdGenius.com and I am here with... My name is Al Hibbard, I'm Product Manager for Wide Productions. Yes, and we're talking today about Shaq Fu, a game that was kickstarted a while ago, but it's basically turned into a whole different game. You're, you were saying this to me before, explain what you guys have done, what the process is now. Sure, so... Um I don't know if you played the original Shaq Fu. We've all played the original Shaq Fu. So, uh, you know, it, needless to say, it, it wasn't the greatest game ever. Um, no. You know, there, there was a lot of love that went into it. it. It created a fun narrative. It's a cult classic. Lots of people out there. There are two two sorts of people. There's the, they don't like Shaq Fu or Shaq Fu was their childhood because back then you spent 70 70 bucks or 50 quid on a game yeah. uh, and whatever a game it was you absolutely loved it and adored it so there are a lot of there are a lot of fans of the original game out there yeah. the biggest change from from Shaq Fu to Shaq Fu a legend reborn is that because the developers wanted to to make a game that really lived and breathed Shaq rather than something that had a, a sprite of Shaq in it yeah. um, was the change from a 2d fighter to a side-scrolling beat-em-up yeah so when you went through that process of going to a size scroll and beat them up why why did you take that route so the reason the developers uh, went down that route was because they they saw much more freedom in a side scrolling beat them up to to really create that game that lives and breathes Shaq so as you play through the game you'll see uh, references to Shaq's various films you'll see references to to Shaq's products that he works with in the states anything with a hip hop career yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is, it's all in there. The, the guy who lives and breathes, he is pop culture, right? So yeah. there, there are references right through the game to to nearly every corner of his career. So um, in terms of the, the basically the way that the game's been laid out as well, the, the way it's been framed, the animations, everything is really different in comparison mm. to what it used to be like. It's more kind of um, tune-like in a sense rather than what it was where they had that kind of motion capture Mortal Kombat style of doing things. How did you guys come up with that? What, what made that decision come to play? I think um, with these games and uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, with the sort of IP like this yeah. um, there's a danger of taking yourself too seriously. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I don't think it, it ever does these fa games any favours yeah. whereas you know Shaq Fu has adopted that style and I think it really lends itself to the to the comic edge that the game has i mean if, if you play the game you'll see that it, from from screen one it, it's funny you know there, there's plenty of jokes in there plenty of humor Shaq recorded his own vo for the game um and he, he's done an amazing job full of jess he even laid down a fat new single for the game as well oh, so wow. the, the menu music has a uh, has an exclusive track that Shaq recorded just for a legendary new ball. Shaq for 2018 people I never thought we'd even say that let alone about this game so in terms of the Kickstarter you guys did really well in terms of basically funding this um, how did you find that the fans reacted to this because it's like with any fit nostalgia base you've had your good Kickstarters and your really bad ones how did you guys kind of get more into the positive i think you know as i said before it's a bit of a marmite effect with this title um but overwhelmingly the support has been huge you know um it was funded in record time shack was obviously behind the the project and behind the the early concept as yeah. well so having him on board to to sort of help with the indiegogo campaign was was huge um just generally you know even fans who struggled with the original can't wait for this game. So you know it's been it's been positive pretty much all round. It gives it at least a new life in a sense, doesn't it? Because it allows you to take something that was known as a really bad IP at one point and turn it into something really original, but it also have that same effect of cheese that it had like back in the day. Yeah, I think uh, you know it all comes back to that point of making something that that really encapsulates Shaq's personality and has all of that that depth within it. And I, I think this does that in a way that the, the original Shaq Fu never did. 
Yeah, no, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. I can't wait to see this game. So do we have a release date? We do. We announced just last week that the game will be out on June 5th on June PlayStation 5th. 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Steam for Windows PC. Wow, there we go. Is there going to be a PS Pro exclusive version of this game or Xbox One X where they have higher frame rates, or is it all going to be base level? So uh, every every game we produce is, is optimized for, for the latest hardware, so... Um, I can't give you explicit details right now, but um, you will see the best performance on those platforms. There you go, folks. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you would like to like say to the fans before we sign off? Just enjoy the game. Tell us what you think. Follow us on Facebook or Twitter and, uh, and, and tell us what, what you're waiting for next. And there you go, guys. And as always, this has been Michael Burhan from NerdGenius.com letting you know that we've got gameplay. Have you? Rated Team. I'm sorry, I wasn't fast enough. Yen Lo Wang has sent demons to Earth, disguised as celebrities, who brainwash the people into moronic subservience. You must find and kill these celebrities. You are our only hope now. Do not fail me. <laughs> no! Shaq Fei Hong. I'm a poor Chinese rickshaw driver from a town called Hong Lo. I made a promise to my dead mentor Ye Ye that I would kill you. Prepare to die. Silence, white belt. Oh, you got some chutzpah, you redneck schmuck. So, what did you think of the video? Did you like it? If you did, make sure you click on that bell so you can like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also, speaking of video games, you can check out my experience at Anvio with the awesome Bex Trista from Trista Bytes. You can check it out on her channel or by clicking on the link below it for a huge 4K experience. And as always, stay tuned to nerdgenius.com for more videos where you can see my rather British reviews, movie files, m other interesting EGX Res experiences, and much, much more. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys.